Uh, my name is Major Andrew Dupre. I'm the Executive Officer of the 7th Military Information Support Center. The significance of this jump is that this is the first airborne operation of the 7th Military Information, the process of activating. We'll have its activation ceremony on 18 October of 2011. I'm just really excited. I didn't think that we'd be able to do a jump. We don't have that many jump masters. First Sergeant Duga was at the air meeting and volunteered us, and I'm really okay, glad he did. I'm the primary jump master. First Sergeant Ralph Patrick Duga, and uh, I'm first Sergeant for uh, HAC 7th Battalion. It's not every day that you get to uh, take lead on an uh, airborne operation, a newly formed battalion, uh, when you haven't even activated yet, uh, but it was something that uh, we, you know, we knew was going to be a challenge. Um, but it marks uh, actually part of history because it will go down as being the first ever airborne operation for the newly formed 7th Battalion. The 7th Military Information Support Battalion um, is an interesting little story already. Uh, its original lineage and honor is the third mobile radio broadcast company from World War II. Um, like the tasks that 7th Battalion will employ or execute once deployed will be similar to the ones that 6th Battalion currently does. So regional military information support um, for the AFRICOM and SOC Africa um, commanders in, uh, in Sub-Saharan, Trans-Sahel, and uh, Western Africa. So they'll go and do the military information support teams um, at the embassies in five to six countries and uh, also cover down on the regional information support teams. It's always good when you can be the primary jump master on an airborne operation, but it's, it's more rewarding when you have soldiers that are actually in your unit and they are actually in the lift that you are uh, jump mastering and you can put the soldiers up. It's great for the younger soldiers to get to see you uh, execute uh, missions like this and it motivates very comes to be, uh, to be jump masters in the future. Starboard side personnel stand up, uh, starboard side stands up, next to the port side personnel stand up. Once they both stand up, the jump master will tell them then hook up, they will hook up their, their static lines and then they will be given the, uh, the commander, check static lines. Cool. And after checking the static lines, They'll also be given the command to check equipment. All right. Once you get the confirmation, all the equipment is, is, is checked, and then with the jump master will tell them to sound off for equipment check. They will pass the, the equipment check all the way back from the rear to the front, back up to the, to the jump the jump master, letting them all okay jump master. Once they've done all the then does he get the all okay jump master, then he goes into the, uh, the uh, retrieving his static line from the static jump master, and he's ready to, to exit the aircraft upon the static jump master's execution. As you're falling through the air, the first thing you want to do is uh, tuck your canopy and make sure you got good canopy over your head, that your canopy is open. Uh, you want to go ahead and uh, check your rate of descent with that of your fellow jumpers, and then you want to make sure that you steer away from all other jumpers. You want to avoid all other jumpers in the air the whole time. Pretty much a definite experience of uh, what it feels like to uh, fall in the air and freedom, you know, feeling real free and, you know, relaxed and uh, there's, there's quietness and, you know, you, you know that quiet, that calm, uh, that's, I guess that's, that's the best way I could describe it. The fact that I'm absolutely uh, proud of the soldiers of the 7th Battalion and just look, look forward to continuing to serve with them and, and uh, it's an honor to 
just kind of have the opportunity to stand up a new unit. It's not an easy thing, but it, it certainly is an exciting and uh, exciting thing. So after 23 years of service, I think I, think, uh, I found a job I like.